Hey everyone, today we will be going over entering a collab room and what to expect when working with others in Gravity Sketch. Once loaded into GS, notice the panel at the bottom and make sure your intended account is selected. Tap the gear icon on the right side of the panel to change account or organization, sort through language preferences, and adjust other user settings. You can always quickly return to the main menu by pressing the red button. Once oriented, you will notice the landing pad collab icon displayed in front of you between the file manager and new sketch icons. Selecting this feature will bring you to your landing pad collab rooms menu. Here you will find collab spaces you've created including one shared with friends or colleagues. A reminder that you can always use either the side or bottom menu panels to change your account or org associated with the landing pad collab rooms. Your personal collab room will always appear under your personal workspace and is indicated by a crown icon above the room. Other private rooms you've been invited to also populate here. Another feature within this menu includes the ability to change the name and color appearance of your avatar, changing color the same way you would within a sketch. There are also microphone settings located here as well. To start a new collab room, press the white plus icon at the top right of the menu. You will be prompted to name your room and prior to entering, your room will populate the room's library. Simply reach out and select the room to enter. Once in your collab room, you will notice your collaborators displayed with their desired headset color and names projected above them. The first thing to be noted is the online user's menu panel, which is presented by pressing the blue button and then selecting the third icon from the bottom, depicted by a two-person graphic. Within these settings, you will find the ability to adjust microphone settings as well as choose whether or not to share UI. Sharing UI is an incredibly useful feature for showing others in your collab room how exactly you're orienting your tool settings or navigating certain features while editing and creating sketch geometry. Another feature of note is that the user shown with the crown in the online users menu is in control of the room workspace settings. The crown can be transferred from one user to another by simply selecting the icon beside their name. Once fully oriented within your collab room, there are just a few extra features to go over before you're ready to collab confidently. First is controlling user layers. So let's go to our layers menu, the icon above online users. You'll notice each member of the room is given a layer to begin, and you can toggle between hiding other collab members layers at the bottom of the menu. Layers' transparency and their ability to be locked are consistent across users, meaning if someone locks a layer or edits its transparency, those settings are experienced by all users. And these settings can also be changed at any time by any user. So if a user locks a layer and isn't present, there's no need to worry. Another very useful tool to rely on while using Gravity Sketch Collab is zooming to colleagues' viewpoints. You do this by simply selecting their name within the online user's menu panel. This is especially helpful when multiple collaborators are present within a single collab room and you want to find a specific perspective of an individual. Lastly, you'll notice a small microphone icon on your non-drawing hand controller. This is just a shortcut to turn your mic on and off without having to go into the online user settings.